Welcome, welcome. I'm Lemsky and this is Halloween Horror Weekend, where I try a different horror game every day over Halloween weekend. Today I am trying The Test, which is described as an atmospheric psychological simulation with horror elements, and it requires you to answer a series of questions as truthfully as possible. So let's get started. Oh boy, this looks like we're in for a treat. <laughs> Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You'll be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world, or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? This process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. I might have um, <laughs> bit enough more than I can chew. I thought this was going to be a horror game, but um, sounds like I'm in for some deep therapy. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. Ooh, This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand or realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience we're about to begin with a series of questions. And provided that you're a willing participant, we'll be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. So I'm worried that um, maybe... <laughs> What if this uh, makes me reveal secrets about myself to you guys that I don't want to? But oh well, we, we'll just go. Let's not take it too seriously. It's, it's just, I mean, look, look at this. We've got like a little, I don't know if you can see my mouse, a little spooky guy, wizard with plague doctor mask, help in blood, what appears to be a dead girl or a doll maybe on the bed. I mean, this guy's got some issues. If anyone needs therapy, I think it's him. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated fairly? Um, I would say yes, because even if a person has done something really bad and deserves punishment, to weigh up that punishment is fair because it's based on the actions. So I think fairness is a part of that. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? No, because again, it depends on their actions. So if someone is a murderer, I'm not gonna treat them the same as I would treat someone who isn't a murderer. I'm going to perhaps hope that they go to prison. Have you ever invented anything? Um, invented. Hmm. I mean, so like if you, for example, draw a picture that's never been drawn before, is that inventing? It's creating something new. I don't think I've ever created like a thing. I'm gonna say no. Do you believe that you're worthy of someone's time investment? Um, well, 
I'm uploading YouTube videos, so I sure would hope so, but do I believe that I'm worthy? I don't think anyone's worthy just by existing. You gotta make yourself worthy. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? I try to be, but I feel like in my own beliefs, I'm quite set in my ways. Um, however, I do acknowledge that's a flaw within myself, so I'm gonna say no. Would you say that you sometimes have trust issues? Hmm. My trust issues are the other way around in that I trust people too much <laughs> and it has uh, not gone well as a result of that. So, but I keep doing it. My gut instinct is, people won't lie. Why would someone lie? Would you be all right living alone forever? Hmm. I'm quite happy in my own company However, I currently live with a partner who I love very much and if they just were like goodbye, I'd be upset. So I'm going to say no. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Yes, we kind of went over that, the truth. I, I kind of make excuses for people. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? Um, I mean, I'm kind of neutral to it, to be honest. When I listen back um, over the microphone, I notice I have a lot, a lot more dry mouth than I would like and that's quite I didn't realize I did that actually I should probably get a drink of water but in a minute yes color blue or color black mm, I don't really like the color blue that much so I'm gonna say no because blue makes me think of hospitals if you found money on the street and you knew who it belonged to you would you <laughs> <laughs> Depends on who it belongs to. Um, if I just saw a dude drop it, then yeah, I'd be like, hey man, you dropped some money, so. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Yes, I am curious. Are you afraid of spiders? No, not really. I don't love them, but I don't, I'm not scared of them. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? If I knew that I'd be unscathed, like, hell yeah. I'd be like, I want to know what that feels like. Wait, would it still be painful? Would you consider yourself to be fat? That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. Uh, I, I'll admit, I've, I've, uh, <laughs> I used to be very, very fit and healthy, but, um, you know, I, I could definitely be healthier. I've put on maybe a couple of pounds recently, so. <laughs> Yes, but like not like unhealthily so. A lot of charisma. Mm, not as much as I would like otherwise. Uh, <laughs> I know all of this is ironic considering I'm trying to make YouTube videos, but I don't I watch them back and I'm like, wow, I am dull. So no. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? Do you mean like in time or like in ice? No, it's not something I've ever thought about. This is all very interesting. Did you realise that the last letter of the five questions put together first? Well, the name's Satan. No, I can't say that I did. No. Does that make you uncomfortable? No. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? I would like to think so. Are you now wondering? I mean, yeah, that's exactly where my mind went. Are you now wondering whether his messages are placed within these questions? Yes. Have you ever been entirely honest with your? Have you been? Yeah, I would say so. Or have I? Bum, bum, bum. Are you afraid of the consequences for choosing dishonestly? Hmm. I'm not afraid, but I kind of want to know what happens if I answer honestly. Were you aware there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? No. Are you wondering how these... <laughs> how these questions began to take a strange turn? Yes? Would you consider yourself captivated? Yeah, I'd say so. More captivated than I thought. I think it's because deep down we're all narcissists and we like to think about ourselves. Would you consider yourself to be brave? Yes. If I'm scared of something, I make myself do it. Like, I remember being a kid and I was at home alone and I was scared of going upstairs in the dark, so I turned off all the lights in the house and went upstairs in the dark just to prove to myself that it couldn't have any power over me. So, yeah. 
quite proud of how I deal with fear. Do you view yourself as someone of average intelligence? Hmm. Again, it's contextual, like, like in the whole world, because there's a lot of people who maybe don't have access to education or people within different age groups obviously have different intelligence levels um but i guess like if i had to be like within my age range and within my educational background i would say i'm probably average so no i would like to think i'm intelligent but not more than average Oh, uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'm just dumb. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm wondering how many questions there are. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? No. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe I'm going to get a pen and pencil, actually. Wait. Uh, wait. So... This one was wood. This one says do. I doubt it's going to do the same one again. Maybe it'll be the last letter. So let's go. Do most humans annoy you? Do most. Uh, I wouldn't say most. Like, if you're walking down the street, I don't think about most people on the street. But of the ones I interact with, I'd say quite a good chunk, but not most. Do you prefer animals people? Yeah, animals don't judge. You don't have to worry about saying stupid things. You don't have to worry about making plans. They're just easier. You with magic. I wish I did. I wish I did. The world would be much more fun. I think I'm quite a logical person, but that's that's boring. Do you believe in God? Um, unfortunately, no. It kind of falls into the same realm as magic with me. It's, it's a beautiful thing to believe, and if that gives you the support that you need or the the courage that you need to deal with the, the horrors of the world let's be honest that's fantastic but I just it's just not something I have been able to bring myself to believe in it I can't <laughs> I would I would need more um I suppose evidence to believe in a higher power so no do you fear death um, I didn't used to. As I've gotten a little bit older, I'm growing up now, um, I would say yes. Especially living in London, people seem to die all the time around here. Are you attracted to someone who you're not currently in a relationship with? Hmm, I'm trying to think. Like physically attracted? Emotionally attracted? This, I'm guessing it means in a romantic way. Like, I see people and think, oh, that's an attractive person, but not attracted to so i'm gonna say no which i know everyone's gonna be like oh you're lying everyone is. but like genuinely i don't i kind of almost thought i was uh oh there's a word for it i think someone said it's oh you know you get like pansexual asexual that kind of stuff i can't remember what it was but basically not being able to be attracted to someone physically unless you have an emotional connection with them I think I have that, like, I can see someone appreciate that they're good looking, but I don't feel attracted to them unless I know them very well. So no, and I can say that confidence. Did you answer the last question with 100% honesty? Yeah, yeah. I had a thought about it, so yeah. Are you alone? Ooh. Does my lizard count? She's in here. <laughs> no, I've got a lizard. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? Hang on, let me look at my lizard. Okay, my lizard is currently watching me right now. She's just staring at me. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Have you wondered who I am? All right, I'm gonna look at this picture a bit more. So we've got an arrow pointing down. Cause I wonder if this is the kind of game where it's not gonna actually tell you anything. You've got to figure it out. So there's arrow pointing to the bed where this girl is. Bucket of gunk. Help. A little book like there's been some kind of ritual. This is like clipping into the floorboard. 
I don't know if that's deliberate or not. Makes me wonder if things are going to move. I can't tell what this says. We've got a bear. Is there anything else I can click on? Okay. Yes, I've wondered who you are. Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Do you feel like you're being watched? Yes. My lizard is watching me. No. Do you drink water every day? Yeah, hell yeah I do. Do you at least once eat once per day? Yeah? <gasps> ah, <laughs> no, but I like the messages. So, okay. I'm looking for anything unusual like a capital letter or a number in it or something like that. Are you wondering what they are? Yes, tell me. Would it bother you to never know without finding it yourself? <laughs> yeah. Is your favourite number seven? You know what, I'm going to write down seven. They said about eating once per day and drinking once per day, so maybe it's one one seven? I don't know. It's your favourite number seven. Nah. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? I never thought about that, but yeah. I guess the implication of that is that I don't believe in an afterlife. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. No, I disagree because comparisons are how we draw connections and learn about the world. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? I did not. Morning star is uh, Lucifer's name, isn't it? Lucifer morning star. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Hmm. I would say no. I would say most people would, but there are exceptions. People have to prove that they deserve a second chance and that they are, you know, if someone says, oh yeah, give me a second chance, um, but I will murder again, then no, I'm not going to give you a second chance. You can do anything you put your mind to, do you agree? No, I think there are certain limitations. Obviously we can talk about abstract, you know, I can't turn invisible or fly. But there are also things like limitations that we put upon ourselves and limitations that are put upon us by society. So, no. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? Not at all. Obedience has led to the deaths of millions, so no. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? Underwater. I think underwater is creepy. I'm gonna be honest. Damn it! <laughs> ah! Oh, sorry, hiccups. No, I no, I meant to say no. Oh. Do you wish to be loved? Yes. Have you ever felt hated? Yes. Do you have any addictions? Ooh. Sugar addiction, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's uh, <laughs> putting down real addictions if I say that. Uh, I would say I've had uh, difficulties with things, um, including... Uh, uh, yeah, the difficulties with things. Not drugs. Um but I wouldn't say I was addicted, so no. Do you dislike the colour pink? Nah, pink's alright. It's not my favourite. I very much like the colour grey. Do you enjoy loud music? No, I don't like loud noises. They freak me out. I'm skittish like a squirrel. Do you like to dance? Not really. Would you consider yourself normal? No, I think normal is a silly word. There's no real bearing. Do you love your parents? Yes, of course they do. Yeah, they've been lied to. Oh, probably. Actually, yes, 100% I can say yes, I have been. I think there's some very specific examples. Do you get angry often? Uh, I used to as a kid, but I had anger management classes and now I'm cool as a cucumber. I don't think I raise my voice ever. Do you hold grudges? For sure. I try not to because I don't think it's healthy, but... Have you ever forgiven someone? Let me think. Um, 
it's hard to say forgive me because someone has to do something very very bad for me to like turn my back on them for me to not want anything to do with them and when it's come to that point I have not had that person back in my life that's happened on about maybe three four occasions the people where I've just like have done something so to me unforgivable that I've not had them back in my life when it's been sort of smaller stuff that people have done it's not been a case of I felt like there was anything to forgive I'd be like they did that that was mean and stupid but I don't really care or you know so probably not have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done but still did it anyway yes <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything more than that have you ever lied um yeah I'm sure I have, have you ever cheated on a test uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I don't think I could in school. Like, well, I probably wear ways, but I, I don't think so. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. Do you think flowers? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start writing these down. Go. D for D. You know, flowers are more beautiful than trees. Um. I mean, I would probably say relatively equal. Borderline gonna lean on trees because flowers seem to die a bit more than trees. Trees kind of there all year round, you know. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Are you asking if I'm a furry? Are you asking if I'm a furry? Um, I've wondered what it would be like. I feel like it would be easier, but it's quite fun being a human. It's complex and interesting and I've got opposable thumbs so no do you believe your psychic powers nah again these are all D these are all beginning with D have okay H have you ever seen a ghost I thought I did once but I'm pretty sure I was just sleepy <laughs> so no do you dream often I started to. I didn't used to dream as much. You have nightmares often. Not really. My dreams are normally just wacky and weird. Anxiety attacks. Ooh. Um, since I started my job, yes, I get pre-work anxiety. I don't know if it's quite an anxiety attack. It's just like a... Uh, uh, I'm gonna say yes. You suffer from depression. Hey, that's 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 a lot to divulge. That's a lot to divulge. Um. Hmm. Being completely candid, yeah. I don't want to go into any more than that. Uh, do you exercise often and stay active? I do try to. Yeah, yeah. Got a gym in my building. Is there a particular type of food that you decide? Yes, and it's coffee. It's disgusting. I don't know if that's a food, but bleh, coffee flavored anything. Gross, get it out of here. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Mm, that's a very interesting wording. Emotionally wounded. I think I say no. Have you ever felt betrayed? Hell yes. Do you ever feel lost in life? Don't we all? Would you consider yourself a natural leader? No, I like to be by myself and do my own thing. I'm more of a, what they call it, it's not alpha. Like the lone wolf kind of. Is it Sigma? Uh, if you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? <laughs> Probably would just for the nobs. <laughs> like, ha, bro, button. <laughs> no. Uh, do you dream being a hero? No. Maybe when I was younger. I just want to be content. And yeah. Yeah, I've been bullied. Believe it or not, not as a child, I've been bullied as an adult. I've been bullied by my boss. Like genuine bullying. Have you ever bullied someone else? I'm trying to think. There is this one thing on my mind. Like, I don't know if I would even consider it bullying, but it grates me to this day. There was this girl in our class when we were quite young. And she was kind of like picked on by everyone. Everyone was a little bit mean to this girl. And I felt really bad for her. But 
she like to me in my child brain I was like she's weird I don't want people to think I'm friends with her so I said to her and I thought I was doing a good thing at the time I was like hey we can be friends but you can't tell anyone okay thinking that I was being an absolute hero in retrospect how fucking awful to say that to someone to say like yeah I feel sorry for you enough to be your friend but ashamed of you enough that I don't want people to know that is like the scummiest thing I've ever said to a person um but I don't I'm not gonna say it's bullying so I'm gonna say no but yeah would you consider you have to be a dreamer nah very realistic do some of hurt people's feelings unintentionally um, well, I know it's unintentional, so it's hard to know if you've done it. Probably. Oh, have I broken it? Okay, it crashed for a bit there, but I'm caught back up. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Okay, it crashed for a second there, but we are back. Do you find space fascinating? Yeah, space is cool. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? A little bit, a little bit. I dabble. Uh, a good friend. Yes. Because you have to be flawed, aren't we all? Have you ever fantasized about being a supervillain performing a heinous? <laughs> Let me think. Let me think. Um, I mean, I think I probably fantasized about everything at one point or another. So normally, I'm I'm the good guy. I can't think of a specific example, but I feel like I must have. Do you believe in perfection? No. Have you ever stolen from someone? Does a shop count? <laughs> Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? I don't know if I could. That's the thing. Everyone says like, yeah, in the right situation that they would, but uh, can you imagine what it must actually be like to be in that situation? Frozen, possibly by fear. Would you have the strength physically? Um, However, I'm not against killing if it's to save myself or other people. So, yes. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Oh. Oh my gosh, what a hard question. Um. I think I'd probably write letters and things like that. I don't know if I tell anyone in person because it's just going to be like, you know, it's going to be a shit day for them anyway. They might as well have one more day of just happiness. So, no. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? What is my darkest secret? Do I have a secret? Let me think. I don't think I have any secrets, but I know that I tell everything to my partner. So, do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? No, I don't trust you. Do you know who I am? No. Well, I know who you are. <laughs> yes. Oh, do I turn around? Okay, there's no one behind me. PB is still watching me though, so. Yes. Would you consider yourself empathetic? I, I, I think so. Romantic. Mm -hmm. Mm. Probably not. I've been in a physical fight. Yes. <laughs> uh, I get headaches. Not migraines, just headaches. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Yeah. I think that's an autism thing, though. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes, but not strictly. Um, I am attracted to any sex or any gender would you ever shave your head yeah i kind of want to know what it feel like to have the breeze on my scalp you attract to muscular bodies not particularly like like big muscles uh just like you know we're talking personal preference there's nothing wrong with it and if, if if that's your body that's great that's beautiful and everyone is beautiful in their own way generally i need to know a person to feel attraction but I'm not immediately drawn to big muscles. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Not really. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Yes. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No, I've forgotten so much. I wonder why, like, it's a trauma <laughs> deep down. Uh, would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? 
Oh, that's a good one. So who's going to lose money here? Is it going to be the people or is it going to be the bank? Is it the corporation or the people? You know, I don't want to rob random innocent people, but if it's the bank, and I knew I would 100% get away with it and it'd be set for life. Uh, I probably wouldn't feel guilty if, um, I think it's going to affect someone, isn't it? Surely someone down the line is going to lose their job. But money. If, it, if the only thing that suffers is the corporation, then I'd do it. Like, I, it's, I don't, there's no morality attached to the money. The morality comes from how it would affect the people. So I'm going to say yes with the caveat that it's affecting the bank and not the people. Dream about running from a killer. Do you know what? Sometimes, yeah. Um, dream or daydream, just like, oh, how would I escape? How would I do this? Falling off a cliff. No. It's not something I thought about. Being naked in public. No. I love scary movies. Comedic television shows. Not particularly, unless it's real, uh, real like, stand-up comedian or, like, Taskmaster. But, like actual comedies like sitcoms rom-coms just annoy me no i do not like being the center of attention something is always watching you only my lizards i'm gonna say no <laughs> uh yeah i want to go space have you ever had an out of body experience um i've done that thing was it disassociate you know you're just sitting there and you just kind of forget where you are but like i wouldn't ex i wouldn't describe it as out of body for myself have you ever punched a nun <laughs> imagine if i said yes and didn't say anything. would that make you curious <sighs> dogs better than cats no i like all animals prefer to read more than watch movies uh, no i like a movie i wish i could say yes it makes you sound more intelligent <laughs> yeah are you not gonna tell me why I'm starting to think that you're trying to assess if I'm uh, suitable for your cult, is my my guess. Do you get starstruck easily? Yeah, I haven't seen that many celebrities. When I have, I've gone, oh my god. Like, I, I kind of want to be cool about it, but for some reason I get all regressive. Uh, yeah, I hate big parties. <laughs> Receiving presents. Oh, wait, hang on. I was going to say no, because the gut instinct is no, but let me think. Because it's not the gift, it's the fact that someone's thought of you and got it, so I'm going to say no. Because if they just, like, if there was just presents and there was no one else there, then I'd be sad. Seriously, <laughs> have you ever punched a nun? Like, really, just bam, right in the face, nun punch. I kind of want to put yes, but I'm going to put no. Did you laugh? Yes. Did you say... <laughs> uh, I didn't. Are you now eager to somehow get your shoes to punch a nun sometime soon? No, the thought of like fist on face is upsetting to me. Who the hell do you think you're going to hurt? I would say no because I would like to think that if there is, let's say it's just Christianity or something like that, that uh, something I know a little bit about, I would imagine that God would look at the life you've led and weigh you by that not by the amount of worship you've given to him so fantasy fiction games i mean is this fantasy fiction yeah <laughs> i don't want the internet to know that okay everyone look listen to me listen to me <laughs> oh my gosh i was like oh yeah this will be fine they can't ask anything that bad but i don't want to lie because I want the true answer, so everyone, please, if you if you care about me at all, you will look away from your screen right now, okay? Okay? You're looking away. Close your eyes. I'll tell you when to look back. Close your eyes, okay? Eyes closed. Okay, you can look back now. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? I mean, no, I just have my own idea of what frequent is. <laughs> well, this is slightly uncomfortable right now. Yes. <laughs> is your mouth dry? Yeah, but I think I'm just thirsty. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as monster? No. Are you poor with money management? No, I'm great at managing money most of the time. Choose one of the numbers. 
You who resonates you most this moment? <laughs> 69. 21. Well, they said about lucky number 7 earlier, so I'm just gonna say 7. Grey. Wicked. Wicked. Divine. I'm just picking words I like. They don't really resonate with me a huge amount. Choose one of the words that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Luck, skill, strength, agility, and challenge. What is this? D&D? &D? Charm. Mm, depends on my problem, but generally, yeah, because I'm a loser. No. Yes. No! Did you hear me earlier? Disgusting. Get that out of here. Do you believe in demons? No. Do you believe in angels? No. Are you afraid of sharks? I mean, there aren't that many in London, so no. Do you prefer baths or showers? Um, I do like a bath, but shower is just better overall. You sh see shadow in your... Uh. Uh. What are you talking about? I did not. What are you doing? Are you up to something? Do you ever hear a name being called even though? Yeah, I get that. I have a very short name, so I think sometimes people are just saying random words and I think I hear my name. I'm going to grab a drink of water. He's made me thirsty of all of his talk. Right, so, sorry about that. Um... Things you home often go missing or reappear later. No, I'm quite tidy. Nope. I just feel like maybe I, I, my house is not spooky enough for this game. Wait. Are they playing a knocking noise? They are. I can hear it going from left to right in my headphones. Do you have any pets? Yes. <gasps> How did it know? Is it just a guess? Are you attracted to a family member? No! Ew! Sweet home Alabama! Do you share the money with anyone? Yeah, but I would keep my space to myself. Ah! Excuse me. Hmm. Nah, I'd rather do my own thing. I don't really want to be responsible. I have wondered, yes? Do you like fishing? No, I've been fishing. It's a bit boring. Do you like hunting? I've never been. Do you like camping? I do like camping. Do you like guns? Mm, I went to airsoft and it was not fun for me. But it might have just been a bad day. So I'm just saying no. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> oh my god, she cannot ask me that. <laughs> um... I mean, whether I answer yes or no, like, it's it's kind of equally... That's like equally shameful either way, but you know what they say, do not kink shame. Um, that being said... I... I don't think so. <laughs> uh, no. I wish I had more of an exciting uh, story for everyone, but no, it's it's pretty <laughs> pretty vanilla. Uh, how's the window to the soul? Do you agree? No, because I don't believe in souls. Do you always keep your promises? Yes, I would say so. Uh, no. Once you lie to me once, I feel like I'm going to lose that trust. Are you an only child? No, I am not. 
do you ever enjoy being drunk? No, okay. I I I like the feeling of being drunk, but I recently decided to go completely teetotal because I don't like what happens after I've been drunk. Do you like tattoos? I do like tattoos. Do you enjoy being high in any form? High on life? You believe you have a soul? No, I can't feel it. Did you cry this week? Mm, yeah, yeah, I did. I 100% did. Are you upset with someone right now? No. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to say anything. Do you understand how this works yet? No, I don't really understand the point. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not about answering questions, it's about the time you spend answering them. And the combination you answer them in. Okay. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? I want you to explain it more, so I'm going to say no. Are you wondering if the end of this can be seen based on the previous questions you just answered? Yes. If I was to tell you this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers you doing this is just a byproduct, would you believe that? No, I think it's a game that is made for people to download. Are you afraid of being abandoned? Not particularly. Are you afraid of dying alone? Mm, I'm afraid of dying full stop, but yeah. Uh, genuinely, yes. Like, I see so much death around me these days that just the thought of, I mean, like someone was, I don't, it's kind of dark to go into, but if you just see the news these days of like, lives ending so suddenly and abruptly and the fact that it could happen at any moment to any person it's insane um, yeah mostly no maybe this works better if i don't talk i'm gonna say no I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond or answer quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. Oh, exciting. I'm analysing them very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Don't just say my favourite colour is green. <laughs> If anyone has been put in a box in this lifetime, it's you. And that just isn't a feasible thing to do with someone such as yourself. I think you know that too. You don't belong in a box. You belong on a pedestal. Because you are magnificent. Whether you understand it, realise it, or even accept it. You may not like to think of yourself in that way, for the fear of surround sounding, or even feeling arrogant, but let's be real here. People look at you and your first thought is negative. You get uncomfortable. They're not looking at you for the reason you think. They're admiring you. They're even somewhat intimidated. You give off such a powerful aura about you that people straight up don't know how to handle your presence. They can even appear a bit standoffish at times, but that's not because they don't want to know you. They just don't know how to act around you. You're not like other people. You think it's a problem with you, but it isn't. It's a power to be admired, though it's often misunderstood. Unfortunately, it's often misunderstood even by you. You need to understand that no matter what you do, not everyone is going to comprehend who you are and what you're capable of. Both good and bad, you will however find someone who can open up to you completely, because they will be the special key to unlock the gate you keep so guarded. You need to do your best to open up though. Make yourself a bit more accessible. Give people an opportunity to get to know you. They'd absolutely love what they see and hear. I mean, this is just like a confidence boost. I thought it was going to be all evil. You need to build some confidence or simply fake it. They won't know the difference, trust me. 
One thing you do need to be careful of, however, is trusting what people say and taking it to heart when it's negative. Yeah, I do do that. People who don't like you for whatever reason don't dislike you because there's something wrong with you. They dislike you because there's something wrong with them. <laughs> no one who truly got to know you could ever dislike someone so astonishingly in depth as you. Oh, he is buttering me up good. One thing you need to realize is that you might not be as good as someone people, uh, as some people say you are. You are definitely not as bad as some people say you are either. It's important to live a healthy medium. If you don't understand yet, one day, very soon, you will. Your secret word is justice. Remember this word, this will come in handy. Okay. Justice. I've written that down. Ooh. Ah, okay. Okay, so there are other games. So that was it then for the test. Um, yeah, I mean, the I'm a bit confused. Like, why was there a little room and a creepy little guy? I, I don't know what that was about, but I feel like I've divulged some information today. So I hope you've enjoyed it. The most horrifying thing about it all is being open and honest. <laughs>